What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros, and today, folks, we got an old school, absolute legend of a bat. Our first time ever swinging the Easton Seacor. So, depending who you ask, you could pin this bat anywhere from 1990 to 1993. So, we are looking at a bat that is over 30 years old right here. And this is a, really a pioneer in the baseball bat world because the Seacor was the first ever bat that combined composite barrels and alloy barrels. So you see, we just have a regular alloy barrel on the outside, but there's actually a composite liner on the inside, which really helped separate these bats from the other single wall alloy competition. We're gonna see if it's the real deal, if it compares to like a late 90s Gorilla Era Reflex. Let's get it. All right, guys, we'll give you a little closer look at the C-Core right here. So fat, massive barrel this is a two and three quarter inch barrel and this is back like before the drop three days so we actually have a drop four 33 inch 29 ounce and this thing's just a club man we'll look at the barrel profile so here is actually the only living ancestor of the c core this is the 2025 easton split bb core it's actually the only bat where they use that carbon inside the alloy barrel or composite inside an alloy barrel. It actually doesn't work that well for BB core. This bat is okay, but it worked really well for these. This bat is basically what created the Z2K, the Reflex C core, the Red Line, some of the best metal bats ever made. So uh, let's look at the barrel profile to start. Okay, 2025. Oh my gosh, it actually doesn't taper out till the very end. So it's a fat, but a very short barrel. And I've actually never swung this fat. I'm very excited. We are gonna set a baseline though with our 2025 ancestor of the C-Core, the Easton Split, just to make sure we can at least beat this exit velo. I'd hope that's a homer. Oh, no juice, 95 miles an hour. That's just so hard, bro. That's almost perfect barrel. 101 miles an hour, we'll get like two more. Freaking tattooed, bro. This bat's not bad. Getting her done. 101 miles an hour. Absolutely mushed. 104.4 miles an hour with the Easton split, 2025, it's like $400. All right, the world premiere of the Easton Seacore made before I was born. Let's see if this thing's got the juice. Please don't break, it's cold outside. This might snap in half, I really hope it doesn't. I really hope it doesn't kill my hands either. Let's get a bunt, see what it sounds like. Oh, just a clunk. Oh, dude, it's gonna be fire. It's yeah. gonna be fire. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's nice and light. That was not a hard swing. Oh, bro, this is gonna wipe the floor with it. 99, slow little jam shot swing. Yeah. That was I still good. didn't even really get that that well over the trees 103 okay let's get a liner on the barrel dude that's touched bro that was a knuckleball 106.8 so 107 let's get one more then we're gonna ramp things up we're gonna use the ncaa balls and compare it to a late 90s reflex That sound is beautiful, dude. 107, last one. Hit the bat, bro, sign. Yes, sir. 109 miles an hour. That beat the 2025 bat by a good, let's see, four and a half to five miles an hour. Uh, this wins the first battle. Let's move on to the 1999 Easton Reflex drop five c405 alloy i don't know if this has the carbon core actually i think this is just a single wall so 
This could be a good showdown. We're gonna get the juice baseballs too. So these these should go like three miles an hour faster, I think. Oh, I'm gonna hit these to the freaking moon, dude. Yeah! Ow, that hurt. Dude. That's unbelievable. 106. Dude, you cannot miss on the hands. It will ruin your night. Oh my goodness, dude. I really got under that, but don't hit a car, please. Whew. That's a tank. 108.5, 469. You barely got there. Yeah, bro. We're going to get 110 easy, I think. Yeah. <laughs> that stings, dude. That's not even the barrel. Oh, so Insane. Insane. 109. Like, it's hot, bro, but it's not that easy of a bat to hit with, honestly. The sweet spot's really small. You still got to be a good hitter to do well with this bat, but when you get it, it goes very well. Oh, that was almost there. I got to do this bat justice. 108, 450. This bat deserves my best, and I haven't got it yet. That's pretty dang close. Holy crap. Cleared it. That might have cleared the building. I think it did. There it is. 115.3486. Yep. I knew it had more in the tank. All right. That's a good showing for the C Core. This is a legend. But can it beat the 1995 Drop 5 Reflex? I know you think Drop 5, what is that? This is what high schoolers and college guys swung back in the late 90s. 3328. And they're juiced. Kind of insane. Oh! Wow. I got that pretty well. 109. Okay, that, that wasn't as good as I thought. Dude, it looked great. The sweet spot is incredible. Let's make sure that didn't break. That felt better for sure, but that wasn't that hard of a hit. Yeah. Dude, this is crazy. Don't hit a car. Oh, good. 111.4. 453. Okay, I, I think this is going to win. Oh, that's not quite there, but that's good. Oh, this is so fun. I apologize to the grocery shoppers right now. 108, 459. Okay, we need 116 here. Whoa, good swing. That's it. That's not very fun. Yeah. Come on. Dude, that was hit so hard. 115.4. <laughs> the reflex from the late 90s literally wins by 0.1 miles per hour. However, this had the long ball on the day, and this bat is like eight years older, I think at least, than this Easton reflex right here. So I think all things considered, man, best early 90s bat I've ever swung. This put the black magic to shame, in my opinion. This thing's crazy. Small sweet spot, but if you get it out on the R, I mean, we almost got a 500-footer with an alloy bat in 40-degree weather. So, big dub for the C-Core.